What's up, everybody? Out of the Pile 78 coming back at you. I had done this video already, but I messed something up in the actual video. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about what's going on. The cool thing is I'm using my cell phone right now for the video, but I wanted to show you my new setup. I connected that wirelessly to my TV. At first, everything was great, but when I tested it out and started recording, everything started going real slow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to redo the video without, you know, without having that latency that, that making the computer go slow because it's trying to go to this monitor and the TV. So the TV is going to be directly connected to my computer. So I won't have that, you know, trying to figure out where on the Wi-Fi it is. The cool thing about this program that I'm about to show you, Ivysoft, Ivy Cam, I mean, the software, the app, the cool thing about it is that in the app, you could use it wirelessly to your computer as long as you have it on the shared Wi-Fi. So the cool thing is with that, you could take the bad boy all the way to the kitchen as long as you're still in the Wi-Fi area, it's gonna continuously work. It might be a little bit late or, you know, have a little problem, you know. I don't know, I didn't never use it like that. Uh, I saw somewhere else you could possibly use it as a uh, spy cam, which is pretty cool. Like if you, you know, checking on your baby or whatever, you could do it that way. The thing is that if your phone, your computer, cause your computer goes to sleep, and that means your phone is no longer needed your phone might go to sleep and if your phone goes to sleep guess what it's gonna stop the recording in general so it's not cool to use that i have a google pixel 4 so what i do i'll show you everything i'm I, you got to go to the app and i'll show you the website and everything everything you have to use to get to that place okay but um, let me pause this video right here so I can get you over to on my computer. As I'm recording this video, I'm also recording the screen on my phone and I will mix it in this video so you can see the screen working and all the software working. For that, I'm using AZ Screen Recorder. I don't think it has a um, watermark, which is beautiful. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the website or where you need to get the stuff. Uh, as you can see, you can just type in Ivy Cam on either the App Store for um, the Apple or the Google Play Store for Google. And I don't know, I believe APK files for like editing a video. I don't know what it's for. I, I remember it used to be for rooting. So they used to use it for rooting. So that's that. Um, and here we go. The first thing you want to do after you download it here and download it on your phone, you want to double click this right here. This is the software. And you want to find it on your phone and click it on your phone. Now, this might take a second or so to connect. So don't act like, oh, you did something wrong. Now, I'm holding it in my hand. I'm about ready to put my cell phone on that bad boy right there. All right. So here we go. I'm connected to a wire, as you can see. Let me show you. I'm connected that directly to my computer in the back. That's a C-type wire as well. So I have a Google Pixel 4 phone. Oh, I might have paused it on accident. That's my fault. Let's exit that. Sometimes you pause it on your cell phone. You're touching the buttons on your cell phone, and then you got to press play on your cell phone. Here you go. Now it's working. So when I originally got this, I had it on these files right here, these settings right here. All right, the settings I have it on is probably the settings I already liked since I was just doing this video earlier and making sure everything was working properly before I started actually doing the video. Like I said earlier in, um, in the other video that I was doing just for my cell phone, this is, could be used for anything almost. Like if you want to use it in a car, I mean, in a, well you can use it in a car if it's right outside your house and you reach the Wi-Fi. As long as you can reach the Wi-Fi that, that both the computer and the cell phone is connected to, you can use it wirelessly. I use it with a wire because when I used it without the wire originally, my voice and my and the video of me talking was like, I'll give you an example in a second. 
let me go over some of this. First of all, I'm using the paid version so I can get rid of the watermark. There's two different ways you can get that paid version. I'm gonna go back to the website real quick. I'm gonna put purchase PC license and I'm gonna show you something real quick. I will show you something. If you scroll down, you can see right here that it says, yeah, I'm not prone to breaking my cell phones. So because I'm not prone to breaking my cell phones, I'd rather have it on my cell phone. So no matter what computer I go to, so let's say I went somewhere with my laptop I can have it interchange with my laptop and you can only have you know because you only get one once you use the license for your pc that's it you're done but i'm not one that drops it and since i you know put it on my cell phone if i get a new cell phone and i log in with my the proper gmail account or whatever it's always going to be working like that however with the pc the good the only good part about it is i could use it with any cell phone that has the um app downloaded on it so like if I had an iPhone and I had a, a Google Pixel phone and then I could use either one as I wanted. One of the bad things I got to say is that I don't think your hose is charged because you're using the webcam. So I lower on my webcam, I lower the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm lowered how high the uh, brightness is. That's what it is, the brightness. I lower the brightness so it can die less fast. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be charging and working at the same time. I don't think it really does that. I haven't had a problem with 4K on this yet, and I only tried it once, and I didn't have a problem. So um, I heard on the other. I was. I'm gonna link the other person that I learned this from. He has iPhone 11. He said sometimes it uh, had an issue with the 4K crash. This one doesn't crash. Another thing that I also noticed is that I'm gonna go. If you could see, it, I'm gonna make sure I could see it on both screens. See these three little marks right here? This is a, a button you could press right here. You got previews, you got audio play. I have it set to none. I also have the settings to um, not use the microphone there. But like I said, I, I have a um, Yeti microphone and that's what I'm using. Okay, that's that. So you go to settings, that's what I do. First you wanna make sure that it's checked. If this is not checked, it might mess. I heard on a different um, video. It might actually mess up um, how you record. I don't know. I didn't try it out. I just trusted that person. But I went to settings right here. Most people have their settings just like this. 1920 by 80, 30 frames per second high. You could change it. My cell phone goes to 4K almost. And I could put it on high. And I could press. This is what's going to happen. See, I have this not connected. You're going to see that latency that I have when you use it wirelessly on your computer. So you have to press OK for it to take effect and it's going to restart like it's going to do right now, right? Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. I might look a little bit clearer, but you can see that when I talk, my lips go a little bit slower or something like that. How up? I'll get into that in a second. I'm going to go back to settings. You notice it automatically changed the frames per second. I had it on 60. I applied it, press OK. Let's see how that worked. Let's go back to settings. It says it's on 60. I don't know if I believe it. And there you go. I'm going slower again. But what I like to do, I could leave it on 60 and do 720. That works fine. I leave it on high, press apply one last time. And now I'm going to go over the uh, other buttons. If you had the mic working and had it enabled, this is how you disable it or change it. Since I have it disabled because I'm using a, a different mic, I don't worry about it. This one right here takes a picture. This one right here does a video. Hi. As you can see it right here, it will automatically open. If you, it originally is defaulted to this, so unless you change it, it'll automatically open to your computer's IV cam when you finish um, taking a picture of some of that and show you what's going on in there. However, I could do this as well. And now when I'm done with that, there it goes. Sometimes it might freeze the, the screen right here. However, you're not freezing. What's happening is your phone, something happened on your phone. And like if I press a button on my phone, let me see what button it is. Uh, like if I press something on my phone, 
my, my phone is frozen, I press X. I have to press play on my phone and I'll show you um, the video what's going on. This button, this gear button that you're looking at right here, that I'm gonna click on. That's basically your exposure and um, lighting. If you click this and collect this or click on that, you could put more exposure. This light is crazy. You can put this down. Can't it doesn't help with nothing when it's down there. So you could bring this down, bring this up. And one thing I don't like about this is, as you can see, I could click wherever I wanted to go. It doesn't change unless I'm holding that. So and you could probably put this up more. Let's see. Oh wow, how handsome. <laughs> And this right here, as you can see, you see these numbers right here? When I do that, it's not changing. When I click that, let's see if it works. It doesn't change. However, it does change the balancing of the lighting. When I click that, it goes back to original settings and that auto adjusts everything. See, and then you can see my handsome face again. This button right here is basically your flash on your cell phone. This button right here, honestly, I don't know what this magic button really does. I clicked it, it looks like it turns purple. I don't know if it makes it look clean or not with the recording. This is what I originally used to flip it because my cell phone, the way it's recording is like that. So I flipped it. It was originally also like that. So when I look left, uh, it looks left and right with me. But however, it was like this, so when I look left, to me, it looked like it's looking the opposite way. So I make sure it mirrored my camera, mirrored me, my emotions, and how I see it. Um, and so that's what those buttons do. And this one changes the actual cameras, as you can read it right there. That's my front-facing camera, which also is pretty good on my um, phone. I don't know why it does that, but it changes how the exposure is, which is crazy. And then you go back to the handsome me. Honestly, I think this one more time, you can see all the settings. You can see different languages. If you don't speak uh, any of these languages, they got the three buttons right here. They got uh, always on top. You can have it always on top of something. You can have the click the help menu, or bottom menu. I don't use none of that. If you exit, it turns it off. But if you X right here, it allows me to keep recording. You can't mm -hmm. see it, but when I have it to the OBS system, you're going to be able to see it. You know, so what I did is I actually have it not working on the OBS system. And I have to make sure it works now. And I have to custom, I have, it, I have to uh, do it to what it does. So now you can see that it's, it's working. And now you can see that it's, it's working. And so, with my video, you can see me in the bottom corner around here. So if I X now, it's still working. I just wanted to show you that. Honestly, that's basically all you need to see on this video. So I will do the OBS and how to set it up on OBS. That's my mom, so there it is. I will show you how to use it on OBS. There you are, on OBS, the next episode.